a Rocky vomited last night and he did hasn't pooped for a couple of days. So I've got some um wet food with Restorelax in it and also some um some uh, uh probiotic stuff here that I got from the vet. And uh yeah. So we're going to try that and see what happens. You ready? He still got an appetite anyway. You're not feeling the greatest, but he's still got an appetite, so that's a good thing. We'll get him back up and running again. We will. I just took the garbage out. Um, I'm going out later to work around 3.30 this afternoon. I'll go over to a place there. I'm going to be doing some painting. Not at the place over, over yonder there where I normally go, but at a different place. And so today and tomorrow, uh, from 3.30 today to about 6, 6 or so is going to be painting. And then tomorrow until it's finished, however long that takes. And um, because we're going to have to prime the walls first, so you can't really paint over the primer until you've allowed it to dry. Um, so we're going to paint the walls. Oh, slippery there. We're going to paint the walls. And, uh, and on Saturday, I'm back over at the neighbors there where I have been. I'm going to be burning, burning brush and doing some stuff like that. They're still working, cleaning up the property. We can't really do any more of the trail, cleaning up the trails. Because the machine with the big saw blade ain't working. Uh, he, he replaced the primer bulb, which had a hole in it. But it still won't start, so he's thinking it's probably the... The, the coil and he doesn't want to put any more money into it because it's old and it's worn out and who knows what will break next on it and that's understandable anyway um, he's talking about getting a 70 volt electric one pretty wild 70 volt batteries in electric tools now so he's talking about doing that um, but until I have a working machine, I can't really do very much that way. But we do have a lot of brush there to burn from when I was cleaning up the trails. I burnt a big portion of it the last time I was there, or the second to last time. But uh, there's, there's a whole bunch that needs to be burnt. So we got to get at that anyway. And there's also a few other chores to do around there. So that'll be a good Saturday for me anyway to go to work and... I do love to work, and I do need to earn the money back I've been spending because I do need to get a truck on the road so that I can uh, I can go into this thing more seriously. I want to get a rototiller and, and do gardens and things like that too, you know. I want to have a truck to be able to do light dump runs and, and to move my rototiller around. And I may eventually expand that to other things. I may buy a, a lawnmower and some other things, you know. And start doing people's lawns and so on we'll see but for the time being i'm just doing whatever i can do wherever i can get to on my own pretty much so and that's working out i am getting some jobs and earning some money and i'm, I'm building a reputation for being honest and working hard and and so on like that so that's all good anyway i'm laying the foundations and saving money to buy a truck is part of that. But, like I say, I have to make money before I can save it. So, it's good to get these jobs anyway. Alright, that's it for now. Hopefully that stuff will make Rocky poop. Because he does need to poop. It's been a couple of days. It's important that Rocky poops. I am beginning to suspect that he has kidney problems based on the fact that his bowels got blocked up, which I was told could be a kidney ailment, and based on the throwing up that he does every so often, which is really beyond what's normal. Cats do throw up, but when they throw up like that, that's not really normal. And also based on the fact that when his bowels were blocked, and they had to do the enemas to clear him out and everything, they took x-rays, and the x-rays showed that he was full of poop, but they also showed that his kidneys are enlarged which is an indication of kidney disease, and the two things that he's had, the vomiting and also getting, getting bound up in his bowels, are both indications of kidney disease. 
Anyway, hopefully this will get him moving. This stuff in the bowl here. Yeah, hey. All right, that's it for now. I hope you're all having a good day so far. I've got to get something to eat. I've got to get ready. Free Ferdy will come fairly quickly. It always does when I have some when I have to be somewhere at that time, you know. If I didn't have a job today, Free Ferdy would never come. But because I have a job at Free Ferdy, Free Ferdy's going to come very quickly. Alrighty, we'll see you later.